Hey, Super, Super Bowl bound, Super Bowl bound, Super Bowl bound. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Jacksonville not something you expect to see from the opening kickoff that's for sure and they will start at the 40 Try after the first down sack. Lawrence, the 40. He's at the 30. 20. 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because... Whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. That's caught. And it's very quickly 8 to nothing. They wasted no time showing how aggressive they're going to be in this game. They get the quick score, and then they go for two CD. Sets up, partner. And when sets up, you ride the wave. They felt great about that quick drive, put it in the end zone. Why not go for two? They felt comfortable with the play call that they had. And the home crowd loves it. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And able to get this out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 30 on second down, Hurts. This one complete down the field to Goddard. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have come back to make it a two-point game. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. 
The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 66 yards. So down inside the five-yard line. I have to say, really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. ETN. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break off that big carry again, and instead, it works opposite. Extreme. ETN once more. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. His pass caught at the four. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Patterson's kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five. They set up for just the field goal. You have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, they would have made their decision tougher, and I think they probably would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. From just inside the 20, a short kick, and he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Hurts. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter, we are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll set up to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. 
On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Again, that's Watkins. They'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia! For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the final clocking on the next-gen stats there. How about this? 22.1 miles per hour. Wow. Elliott good with a PAT. And that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Lawrence. And his throw here is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. will throw. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. here we if we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. But first down, Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
Here's second and five now from the 37. They'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Go, go. Hey. Check, check. Hey. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Hey. On second down, a run with ETN. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He lost four there, and it's third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. In motion left goes Jones. Hey, he's sick. He's sick. Now Lawrence on third and long. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watkins. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Hold it ready. to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. He'll drop to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. 
Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and the Jags are going to take possession of the football. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. He completes it to Ridley. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Sometimes your brain compresses a little bit, too. They show great poise, understanding of situation, making sure they get to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. From the six. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the seventh. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that... There he goes, right side! He's at the 40! And he'll be marked out at about the 26-yard line. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Second down and seven. Hurt sets up to throw it. He finds his man, complete. That's Watkins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. 
And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but closed there quickly at the end. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Elliott good on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, but as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Hey, 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 On second and seven, Lawrence. And that is caught. It's Ridley. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. down finds his tight end Ingram and he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43 and what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do how about how he worked his way to the outside made sure he secured the catch and then anything after that we count that as a bonus and indeed he gets enough for the first down 51 on first and ten, it's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Jones now in motion left. On the counter, ETN. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Yeah, yeah. Hey, pick up. Hey, pick up. Hey, throw it. Hey, back up, back up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And they'll work this down inside the 30. 
Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now Lawrence on first down, rolling to his right. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now to this point. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Hey, 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 now receiver in motion left. On second down, ETN once more. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Now Lawrence to throw. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Patterson now for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. the touchdown cook now to kick this one away and that one bounces out of the back of the end zone so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive and they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Throwing his hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. Right 
To throw again on second down. Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Another toe for ETN. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Here we go, gotta have it, Lawrence, and able to find Kirk complete, and he is going to have the Jaguars first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down, 11 yards on the pickup, and it's good enough for a Jacksonville first. A handoff running left is ETN. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 91 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hey, 
On first down, right back to ETN. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And he'll go again with ETN. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. They'll run with ETN. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. Every eye in the stadium locked in on Riley Patterson. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And this one is right through. And the Jaguars have won the game. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory. And now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So 